Most people never really mess around with their Android phones. But if you've ever tried doing something a little off the beaten path, you've probably run into USB debugging mode. Activating it isn't hard, but this ease of use hides the fact that there are serious implications when ticking that little box. Let's look at the Android feature and weigh the pros and cons of using it. The Android USB debugging mode is a part of the developer options menu. This is a set of toggles in Android that app developers use to make sure that their apps are working correctly and to diagnose problems when issues arise. When you switch your phone over to USB debugging mode, you're opening a control channel meant for the Android software development kit, making it easy for app developers to see a live readout on the connected PC of what's going on in the phone or tablet. Apart from the intended developer use, why are regular non-developer users even turning this function on in the first place? There are a number of things you may want to do with your Android phone that takes advantage of USB debugging mode. One popular tool, which is also meant for developers, is the Android Debug Bridge Utility, or ADB. This opens up a command line interface on your computer and lets you execute code and scripts on the phone. This is a fast and effective way to modify the phone itself and a key method to root an Android phone. If you don't know what it means to root a phone, it's simply the act of gaining admin privileges. ADB then further opens up the possibility of replacing the factory version of Android with custom firmware or simply the stock version of the latest Android release. As I just mentioned, in order to access USB debugging mode, you need to jump through a few hoops to activate it. The exact method may differ slightly from one version of Android to the next, but these steps are from a Galaxy S21 Ultra. First, open settings. Then, scroll down to About Phone. Select Software Information. Keep tapping on Build Number until Developer Mode is activated. Now, go to Settings, Developer Options. Look for USB Debugging under the Debugging section and toggle the switch to the On position. Now, your phone is in USB Debugging Mode and you can do all the things that have this mode as a requirement. The question is, should you leave USB Debugging on? The short answer is no. If USB debugging mode is left on, you run the risk of a malicious actor or malicious software compromising your phone. The real world risk is, admittedly, quite small. However, keep in mind that hackers only need to be lucky once for it to be worth the trouble of exploiting such an open door. Furthermore, if your phone is ever stolen or seized, there's the potential that USB debugging could offer some way to break into the device. Again, these are low probability outcomes, but since switching off debugging mode when you aren't using it is such a quick and easy thing to do, it's better to err on the side of caution. If you've lost a phone that has USB debug mode active and it has been rooted, you may have a potentially serious situation on your hands. There's nothing much you can do at this point other than to change all your passwords for the services you use. Additionally, you should watch out for signs of identity theft and take appropriate steps to protect yourself. For a more in-depth discussion of USB debugging mode, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.